5 o'clock, a heartbreaking crime. A father's in jail after admitting to causing the death of his seven-month-old son. Authorities say the baby had multiple fractures and bleeding on his brain. And Local 10's Laren Livingston joining us live now with the disturbing details. Laren. Spoke with a number of family members today about this situation. In the meantime, they are starting to arrive here and have been arriving here outside of St. Peter's Church for this baby's viewing. They'll be here today. Tomorrow is his funeral service. And this baby, we learned, of course, is also named for his father. He's a junior. The senior was arrested yesterday and is now standing facing charges for second degree murder in the death of his own son. A little casket wheeled into the front of St. Peter's Church in Perrine. It's just one day at a time. Very numb. Miami-Dade police say it was Daniel Griffiths Jr.'s maternal grandmother who rushed into the hospital back on October 1st. We're told she picked him up from his father's place at Keys Cove in Homestead. I asked him what was wrong with him. He said he'd just been acting weird all day. So I looked in his eyes. He wouldn't open up his eyes. Okay, so the... His seven-month-old baby had multiple fractures in the brain, brain bleed and subsequently passed away and died. 23-year-old Daniel Griffiths Sr. appeared in bond court this morning. He was appointed a public defender. Your Honor, we would like to invoke his Fifth Amendment right to remain silent at this time. In their report, police say Griffiths Sr. gave different accounts of his whereabouts while Daniel Jr. was in his care. The baby died three days after being admitted to the hospital from blunt force injuries, according to the medical examiner. A child, not another adult. I mean, a defenseless child. Griffith Sr. was arrested at police headquarters yesterday after willingly providing a statement to investigators reportedly detailing his actions. Those actions, police say, are what led to seven-month-old little Daniel's critical, now fatal, injuries. It's like I'm asleep. Like I ain't woke up yet. You know, I, I still can't grasp what actually happened to my grandson. Just an awful situation that this family is now dealing with. And little Daniel's grandmother, she says she just wants justice for her grandson. But she says there is some brightness to all of this. Little Daniel's liver, his pancreas, his little heart, we're told his intestines were all donated by organ donation. And they have now helped save the lives of two other babies. We're live here in Perrine, Lair Livingston, Local 10 News.